Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. My name is Steve Simpson, and today we'll be looking at a warm hearted, sweet, gentle animated film set in Mother England's fair countryside, featuring cute, fluffy bunny rabbits and. Oh. Yes, today we'll be looking at Watership Down. Watership Down is a British animated film that was released in UK cinemas in 1978, which was based on the novel Watership Down by Richard Adams. The film had a successful release in the UK, but was not so successful in the US. But even if you haven't seen the film itself, you may have heard about some of the controversies surrounding it mostly to do with its censorship, or should we say the lack of, but we'll cover that in a moment. The film's plot focuses around a group of rabbits in the English countryside. The main characters in our group are Hazel, the level-headed and logical thinker, and his younger brother Fiverr, who can see visions into the future. One day, Fiverr has a vision that their current home is going to soon face a great travesty. We've got to go away from here, all of us. Go away? On the whole Warren? Yes, before it's too late. And tries to persuade the chief to evacuate the Warren. Now, now, in May, the mating season. The chief refuses, so Hazel and Fiverr gather who they can and make a break for it with the help of it's Bigwig, a former officer of the Warren who decides to go along with them. Bigwig! Yes, you know me. won't be long coming back with the Osler. Right. Well, I think I'll come with you. The plot itself is nothing special and has been done many times. Characters not very happy with place A, trying their best to get to the salvation of place B. What makes the film stand out, however, is the deaths that occur throughout. Right off the bat, we see the first member of the group get taken, and it's done so quick and sudden without any dramatization or mourning that you know this is not going to be the last death we'll see. We better keep moving. This gives the film an entire sense of awkward tension throughout, knowing each obstacle our characters come across could quite easily be their last. Funny enough though, out of all the obstacles they face, and there's a lot of them, the greatest threat they seem to come across is other rabbits. They discover another Warren, which is led by the tyrant General Woundwarp who, as far as any bunny villain could go, this guy really takes the carrot cake. He's powerful, cunning, and ruthless with anyone who opposes him. Which leads us to the main controversy of this film. The violence and the rating that went along with it. Now, when it comes to censorship, I'm usually not a fan of it. I believe the art form should be left as it was and originally intended for the audience. But at the same time, it should be given the appropriate label or given a viewer's discretion. Prime example of this goes with cartoons from the 1930s and 40s. Brilliant pieces of art, but what was considered okay humour back then with propaganda and racism, not quite as accepted now. This film in particular received a U rating, and just to clarify what a U rating means... When you rent or buy a video, you need to know that the film you choose is suitable for the audience at home. To help you understand what the film is like, you can look at the certificate it has been given. This film has been classified U. That means it can be seen by people of all ages, and there will be nothing unsuitable for children. Nothing unsuitable for children. How this film ever got a U rating, I will never know. And it isn't even the violence alone. There is really some disturbing imagery in this film. One scene in particular where we see the rabbits getting buried alive, slowly suffocating and going insane underground. The air to the bad runs blocked with dead bodies. We couldn't get out. 
everything turned mad. Water, earth, roots, grass, all pushed into the air. This scene freaked me out as a kid and still creeps me out to this day. And finally, there's also this. We help you. Piss off! Did you catch that? Piss off! Piss off! Well, I guess you're already more qualified than the censors. Yes, folks, that seagull just told our rabbit heroes to piss off. And all this footage you're seeing now is recorded from a DVD I own. And considering this film came out in the 1970s, it's not like they haven't had any time to correct this certification, or at least censor out some of the extreme violence and swearing. However, disregarding the certification, do I recommend this film? Despite the obvious talking point of the film's excessive gore and violence, it is actually a lot more than that. It's a film which has well thought out characters, who because of the film's nature, you really root and fear for. The plot is simple enough to follow, it's nothing new, but it may offer a new viewing experience through the sheer tension it offers, and despite all that tension, even manages to fit in some great moments of comedy. You stupid bunnies! You got no mates! There are mates! There are cheeks! Plenty trouble for you! You need mates! However, I can see how this film may not appeal to mass audiences. There's the violence, obviously, but also other things, like the pacing can feel slow at times, dialogue may come across as bland and a bit too mature compared to other animated kids films like the Disney series. But then again, that's not what this film is going for. It wants to feel more realistic, it wants to have a more serious tone to it. And with the realistic hand-drawn animation, the lush watercolour backgrounds and the sombre music, it very much achieves that. And if that sounds like the film for you, give it a watch. If you're a fan of the faster paced, more comically driven Disney type of film, then you may not find this one as enjoyable. But on the other end of the scale, you want to see the film but you're not quite so keen on the mature tones such as the violence and the swearing, you can actually grab copies which have now removed much of the blood and excessively violent scenes. But as I said, try to watch it in its original state if you can. Thank you for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the review. My name is Steve Simpson and I will catch you in the next one. Hope you have a good day and a good night. Take care.